hello everyone so today in this video we are going to see the problem that is Kennedy's algorithm and this problem have been asked in Amazon interview so in this problem we will be given an array of n size that is it has n integers and we have to find the sub sub array which have maximum sum and in this sub array there should be at least one number okay so we have to find the maximum sum of the sub array and return its sum so let's see an example so here we will be taking an example let's take let's take an array in which we have number let's say one Two, three, two, and five. Okay, as we can see in this question, if we add all the numbers, we get the sum nine. Okay, if we add all the numbers, like one plus two, three, three plus. 3, 9, 9 minus 2, 6, 6 minus 2, 4, 4 plus 5, 9. Okay. I will write here 1 plus 2, 3, Minus two plus five is equals to nine. Okay, or we can have to find the maximum sum of any subarray in this array. If we find the sum of this subarray, it will be three. It will be three, okay. And if this, it will be if this array, it will be six, okay. And if this sub array, it will be three, okay. And if this sub array, it will be four, okay. As we can see. There can be more sub array, okay. But as we can see, the maximum sub sum is 9, okay. So we will take this sub array, okay. So we have to return the maximum sum that is 9, okay. So now let's move on to the code part of this problem. So first, we will declare a variable current sum which will which will add the all the elements of the array basically it stored the sum of all the elements of the array and we have a in uh, in variable that is max sum okay which we have initialized it with int min okay int min value differ from compiler to compiler okay basically here int means int min means that it has a basically a negative value okay so our maxim cannot hold value below that value okay so first we will here using a for loop okay for calculating the sum of all the elements of the array so it will start from the first portion that is 0 and goes up to the last element that is less than n okay here we have calculated the sum of all the elements of the array and we are checking if the current sum is greater than max sum, maximum sum if it is so that means we have get the maximum sum so we will store the current sum in max sum and if the current sum is less than zero that is if it is in negative so we will store zero in the current sum and we have got the maximum sum so we will return the max sum as we have to return the sum okay here the maximum sum of the sub array okay so now let's compile and run our code
here we can see the n is 5 and the elements are 1, 2, 3, minus 2 and 5. So, this is the same example as we have taken earlier. So, its maximum sum is 9 and our output is also 9. That means here our code is correct and we have used the correct algorithm. So, that's all for today's problem. Thank you.